allowing us to be able to speak to you and our appreciation for you being here. I definitely want to recognize Oscar's grandmother. I'm not sure she was recognized earlier, but my mother um, in the movie Fruitvale, you know her as Bunny. Could you stand up, Mom? This is Oscar's grandmother. And she was really the strength of us. Because y'all can remember when she took my sister's hand and told her to practice what she preached. And that we had to stand up and represent and seek justice for Oscar. So thank you, Mom. And to our family that is here today, thank you for coming out uh, and definitely embracing this community and, and allowing this community to love on Oscar. Uh, we truly appreciate it. And so my final words is, of course, to bring up my sister, Wanda. And as before I hand her this mic, you know, the world needs to know this is my baby sister. And what happened to her created so much anger in me that I had to pray that God give me the energy to do the constructive thing versus what some of us would have considered the destructive thing. Even though I may have been ranked to be de destructive. You hear what I'm saying? Because that's how I felt. Oscar shouldn't have never been murdered. It could have been prevented. And so today, I'm constructing a narrative to bring about real systemic change. That means no more young men have to be murdered the way that they're being murdered. But it's going to take all of us to do that. I'm clear that it's not just going to be me, but it's going to take you. It's going to take you. It's going to take you. It's going to take all of us. So here's my sister Wanda in closing this out. We always open in prayer because it was God that gave us the balance and the strength to keep going. And it's going to be God that's going to continue to keep us going forward. And as my sister always say, she opens in prayer and she closes in prayer. So hear her words and let that be your course and energy to continue to do the work. Again, we want to thank each and every one of you for coming. Again, I'm so grateful for the mural being up. And the scripture talks about, beloved, let us love one another for love is of God. I just want you to reach out somebody's hand before we close on today. I think today is gun, gun violence prevention is today. And I encourage each of you to go to someone today and just express your love to them because love will conquer all. I'm persuaded of that. I'm persuaded that love can change the pe person who seems unchangeable. And so because Oscar was a young man who went through some things in life, but his common factor was that he knew that God loved him. And so I want to encourage each and every one of you today, and I thank you again for coming. Know that you are loved greatly. My family appreciates you. My nephew's here, CJ, I love you. My cousin Sonia, who took care of Oscar many days, is here. I love you. I'm so grateful for all of you spending this day with us. And I'm so grateful for even Bart, Grace, who took the initiative with the art committee of Bart to even plan to put up the mural and the street naming. For Roderick Lee, who took the time, who would call me, is everything okay, Ms. Johnson? How do you want it done? What could we do for you? Uh, Beaven. I mean, the whole BART board, you know, has reached out, um, with the exception of one, uh, has reached out to us and has even came to this event. And so we're grateful for those BART board members who looks beyond skin colors or lines and works to ensure that when they see an injustice, of working to make it right. And so I'm so thankful for Grace and all of the BART board who came today and those that spoke and those that didn't speak. And I'm grateful for the trucks that took the time to be here. You know, I'm grateful for the um, those who set up the mics and the sound system. 
I'm grateful for the foundation, Pastor Woods, Pastor Sandra, the coaches, who's always comes and supports and makes sure the event is flawless. And so as we close today, I want you to know it's better to help someone else than to help yourself. When we learn that, that we should help someone else better than ourselves, we'll be a more greater place in Oakland, California, and America. Let us look to the Lord. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank and we praise you for this space of time. God, we thank you that you are the God of love. God, you said, Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God. And God, so we thank you today. We ask that your love will transcend in this place, oh God. God, we ask that even when we evacuate and leave this place, God, that when people walk in this area of the park station, God, that they would feel your presence and your love and your peace in this place. God, when they walk in this place, that a healing would take place in their lives. And God, we thank you for it right now. We thank you that this area, this sacred place, will never be the same again, oh God. And God, for that we give you praise. And God, everyone under the sound of my voice, God, I ask that you would touch them in an untouchable way, oh God. God, that they know that truly they've been with you on this day. And God, we give you the praise, we give you the honor, and we give you the glory. And God, if there's anyone hurt under the sound of my voice for the loss of a loved one, God, comfort them right now and strengthen them right now oh God in the name of Jesus and God save those that need saving and deliver those that need delivering oh God and God for that we give you the praise we give you the honor we give you the glory in Jesus name we pray and ask it all amen and thank you Lord hallelujah and as we close as we could close singing reach out and touch someone's hand make this world a better place because not be if you can, but because you can when you make that extra effort. Thank you. God bless you. Have a beautiful rest of your day. God bless.